Okay, then. I can't get behind you, can I? Ew. I go up this way. I don't like this. It's almost too quiet. Something's not right. I can feel it. I know. I'll look around the side first. Death root. Where are we at? You couldn't feel it in our triplets. <laughs> He's got a villager here. We have nothing you'd want. Please go. Uh, on the Avar peoples. Driven across the frostbacks in ancient times, Al Alamari tribesmen split into three groups. One settled the Ferelden Valley, one was pushed into the Kokari Wilds, and the last returned to the mountains. Warden Ferelden's bear little resemblance to their Alamari ancestors, and the Chastens remember few of their traditions, but the Avars have changed little throughout the ages. Like the Chastens, the Avars are not a united people. Each tribe fends for itself and is beholden only to its thane. They still follow their own gods, Korth, a mountain father, Hakon, win or, uh, Winter's Breath, Lady of the Skies, uh, as well as dozens of animal gods never named to outsiders. Nothing lasts in the mountains. Wind and rain eventually eat away the strongest holds. Valleys that were arable once, uh, arable one generation are locked in year round ice the next. Game is constantly on the move. Even among themselves, the Avar make no absolute promises. They wed by a tradition in which the groom struggles to untie a tightly knotted rope, while the bride sings a hymn to one of the gods. However many knots he has undone by the time her song ends is the number of years she will spend with him. Wait, what? Um, okay. Lowlanders often forget that there is no such thing as a permanent alliance in the Frostbacks. That's one way of a marriage. Can we go up there as well? Oh, wrong button, no! So we go up and down, maybe. Let's look in here. The village shop. Ooh, wouldn't. Wait. Take your. your I'm here for you. Oh, never mind. I wanted the door. There's, what? There's, this is very like... I keep doing that. I keep speaking to her by accident. Allow me. I could do that for you. Ooh, Mage's eye? Even lighter boots and lock it. We know who's getting all the gifts, don't we? Just like you wanted. No, this was your own doing. I have nothing to do with your stealing. Ooh, thirty-four dexterity. Shit. Okay. Damn. Oh, we need more dexterity, Missy. <laughs> Did I just steal your, your wares? I know, she is wanting attention. Why does everyone tell me that like I don't already know it? We, we don't get very many visitors. Can you tell me about Haven? How would you describe the place you know only as home? Have you seen a man called Brother Jenny TV? No, I've never heard that name. This is the shop, I like to trade. I don't have much, but I suppose you can take a look. <clears throat> you have a few things, though. I think those were for the, the other dude, the, the DLC character you can get. I think it's DLC character. A priest, a preacher, and a rabbit walked out of a blood clinic. The rabbit said, I think, 
I might be a typo. <laughs> oh no! <clears throat> that was awful and brilliant at the same time. I had the golem man. Yeah, it's seen all DLC stuff. Sultra's. Is it Sultra's Pass? No. Was that where it was? Sure, it's something DLC related. You know what? I'm going to buy some of these. Not all of them, just, you know, some cheaper ones. What are you doing? That's private. What are you hiding? I don't see how that is any of your concern. I'm making it my concern. No, you, you have no right. Alistair, you think we work well together? Killing a shopkeeper. I don't want to be buying anything else of him, will I? Are you, are you, you got names? Anything? No? Oh, chainmail boots, really? Oh, corpse. I finished. Arrow of filth. Oh no, is this who we think it is? Armor and clothing left on this dismembered man. Indicate. Uh, he was from Redcliffe, one of Arl Eamon's knights. Oh shit. Something on your mind? I, I never want to talk to you guys. Only, I only want to talk to you guys at camp. Oh, he's gone, isn't he? Well, <clears throat> I'm sorry, but your your shopkeeper's dead. He is. He is no more. Oh shit! Really not oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Okay. Okay. I just upset the whole town. Oh no! What is on you? Yes, my friend. Oh, I. Th I heard that, but I don't know what it was. Um, yeah, I need to give him a... Lesser injury kit, don't I? Yep. The waiting around part is... Awesome. We happy with this? Yeah, we're happy. I'm happy I... Turned this whole turn against me. And this was the day that Haven was wiped off the face of the map. Anyone else? Is the village- oh my god, the villagers are no longer here either. Whoops. Was that because of me or was that because of- Nels? I don't know if I want to go up this way because there's down the way as well. I'm gonna go down the way first. Oh no! All right. Who ordered that? <laughs> Who ordered? Oh, there's a lot of people here. All right, all right. Oh, oh. Right. oh shit. Oh shit. 
Oh god. Oh news. I love how desperate you are. You're pathetic. Right, uh, the trail of destruction. Let's see how many sparklers it get. Got a metal shard. They're not going to have much of them, are they? Pushing in some money. <coughs> you would think, though, right? That in the place, like with the shopkeeper, that me killing him, I would get access to all his stock. That sounds reasonable to me. You know. Oh, wait, that's all that was down here? Oh, the kids fuck. All right, I've come up with one. A question that you can't answer. Oh, Are you talking to me? That's right. You think you're so smart. I've got an academic question that I bet you won't be able to answer. Oh, I doubt that. So tell me then, what was the name of Andraste's husband? This is a religious question, not an academic one. Is that my for us? joking, right? A five-year-old could answer that question. Do you not know more than a child? I care nothing for your religion, and this game of yours is over. Oh, <laughs> They've well, got the same ornamental crumble. fish things here. Ask away. What now? Oh? The world's small slow boat just for a dwarf. Okay, so when I said I thought there was something down the way, I thought there was more over in that direction. I was wrong. So we're going up. I'm gonna go up and see what's going on here. Enemy ahead. Watch out. You coming down? I could have sworn you took damage even after you were dead. It's not copy pasting assets. Fish. It's just very culturally significant. Is that what they call it now? It's culturally significant. Oh great. No! <clears throat> Oh god, we're gonna have to deal with these aren't we? You moved him! Ah. Yay, stab him. Three. Where was I before I was so really interrupted? Yes, what's down here? Nope. And there, I think there's more. The left there, uh huh. Ah, so everyone is within the chantry. How lovely for them. <laughs> We're gonna kill people in the chantry. Oh no! Not my fault. They've killed people here before. They're clearly in the wrong. Killed the the um, people that turned out from I think Redcliffe was it? I'm sure, it was the ones from Redcliffe. <clears throat> Have we saved just in case?
We are blessed beyond measure. We are chosen by the Holy and beloved to be her guardians. This sacred duty is given to us alone. Rejoice, my brethren, <laughs> and prepare your hearts to receive her. Lift up your voices and despair not, for she will raise her faithful servants to glory when her... Ah, welcome. I heard we had a visitor wandering about the village. Yes. I trust you've enjoyed, enjoyed our your time. time in Haven so far. Um, Hill Knights Redcliffe. Saw the bodies. This, my brothers, is what happens when you let an outsider into the village. You killed. They have no mm. respect for our privacy. She will tell others of us if we let her. Word will spread. And well, I'm guessing we're going to have to kill you too. You, stranger, do not understand our ways. You would bring war to Haven in your ignorance. Oh, bro, Jenna, TV, what have you done to him? We don't owe you any explanations for our actions. We have a sacred duty. Failure to protect her would be a greater sin. All will be forgiven. Enemy ahead. Watch out. Why was on him first? What the hell? Okay. Do we get any anything from them? Oh shit! Your body's exploded. Why? Why did your body just go and blood spurt out of you? Well, this is medallion. Let's have a quick look here. Oh, when you stubbing right in the blood sack? <laughs> oh. yeah. yeah, I was looking at Alistair just now. Oh, you can't. Oh, you can't use that. You need 32 strength. Oh, no. Wait, what? It's. Only goes slightly better, like, you know, missile deflection. That's it. Hmm. What are these things I'm getting? Oh, glamour charm? Minor magical charm captures the viewer's attention and distract. <laughs> Pray. Oh no. Oh, cultist medallion. Very large bronze. Bro bronze? What the hell's bronze? Uh, bronze disc bearing the symbol of Andraste. I think it'll be the other way, but I'm just looking into it. Uh, see if there's any. Inscribed chests. Ring of face. Oh, mage! Ooh, and fire damage, okay. What's next? <laughs> Just my little thief. <laughs> Brick wall. Okay, the way you were like there first, I don't know if you remember when I, mean, I was playing Dark Souls, you went down into the um uh was it New Londo Ruins? And there was a lot of like not enemies that were were aggressive. They were all like kind of the 
the bottom when you first got there. And there was one line on its side like, you know, you mean like when you're French girls. It's him! He's doing the same! I'm not sure I should be able to do this. <laughs> Before you came home, yeah. Who are you? They, they've sent you to finish it. <laughs> Prodigy TV. Yo, you're not one of them. Thank the maker. Um, where's your notes back in dinner room? So it seems. They take great pains to keep it well hidden. I, I, uh, oh. the leg's not doing so well, and I can't feel my foot. Oregon, can you do anything? The leg is wounded, but that will heal in time. The foot may have to come off. I thought you might say that. But if the foot goes, it goes. There are more important things than an old man's feet. I don't have time to rest now. I'm so close. The urn is just up that mountain. Oh, you know. My research led me to heaven, and I have heard the villagers talking. I know the urn is here. Haven lies in the shadow of the mountain that holds the urn. There is an old temple there built to protect it. The door is always locked, but I know what the key is. Irik wears a medallion that opens the temple door. I've seen the one I have. It. This medallion? Yes, that is your key. Take me to the mountainside, and I will show Take you. Take me to the mountainside? You're you're fucked though, mister. Are you sure you can make a journey? It is not that far, and will you let me lean on you? For the urn, any pain is worth enduring. Answer some questions for him first. Alright. What is on your mind? Do you know about the knights who were sent to look for you? <sighs> yes, of course. How could I forget? Irik said they were ambushed, some killed, a few oh. brought back to Haven to be questioned. He was so self-righteous about it, so smug. He seemed Ed pleased song that about he had mountain? tortured and murdered these men. There's an Ed Sheeran song about a mountain. Eh, uh, he's not gonna be boring him for a while. Good. Irik and his fellows were a blemish in the Maker's sight. If the Maker would even deign to look upon this world, that is. Let's just talk about something else now, shall we? <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Wait, is, is that... I'm guessing that's not how it goes. Uh, even... It's a little odd, isn't it? <laughs> well... It wasn't exactly what I expected how do, to be. Oh, it just makes it like over and over again. I kind of want to hear that. Uh, how did you find out about Haven? Pure luck. I wasn't even looking for any village. I had always assumed that the temple that housed the urn would be lost to time and abandoned. It took years of study to narrow down its location to this range of mountains. Then, completely by accident... Wait, wait, wait years? How long has the Arl been sick? A village called Haven. I think it's just called Ed Sheeran breaks his leg. <clears throat> sort of document. It was a hundred year old log of the Denerum Chantry's business transactions. Why was that mentioned even? In it was an account of a dwarven trader who had failed to transport goods from Orzoma that had already been paid for. There was a blizzard and his caravan was turned off the path. They eventually came across a small human village that was not on any map. The trader tried to gain entry to take shelter from the storm. Unfortunately, they were turned away and had to take refuge in a cave. When he woke up that next morning, everyone and everything was gone. He managed to find the road again and, and made it to Denerim, but he never saw the caravan again.
What's that have to do with the army? Not too much. It became clear from the dwarf story that this village would be near the temple. And it occurred to me that they might know something about the Ant. And I decided to find the village myself. And that's how this trouble started. <coughs> oh no. I shouldn't. Um, okay, why does he even have, have revered feathers? I do not know. When the Chantry was established, it was decided that only female priests would ever be ordained. It is possible that the villagers, the disciples of Andraste, predate the Chantry and so have no knowledge of the Chantry's rules. Oh no, I can't. <coughs> oh, fuck. No, I need to do it when I can actually laugh properly. Oh, I hate this. Oh, um, don't be hearing these people. They call themselves the Disciples of Andraste. They are very, very devoted. One could say fanatically so. Oh, really? They must be here to protect the urn, but they speak of Andraste as though... as though she were still alive. <clears throat> She's talking about urn. I thought so at first, but I'm not so sure anymore. Was there something else Especially you Especially as I wiped out this whole town. Uh, what did the village do with you? They seemed intent on finding out personal information about me, where I grew up, things like that. Plant plays a fake genitivian dinner. How do you know? There's an imposter Waylon at your house! Oh no! An imposter? What happened to the real Waylon? Sorry, but he's dead. Wait, I didn't find his body stuffed in a box! Oh, poor Waylon. I should never have dragged you into this. Make us take you into his hands, my boy. I'm sorry. Oh, he died protecting your research. He believed in me. Even when I lost faith in myself. I will honor his memory. Was there... Was there uh, something else you wanted to say? Um... Oh, did we take him with us? Okay, I think you should return to Den room. I'm going alone. So close, and yet so far. I will How is he going to get back to Denderum? First, the medallion. It is not a solid piece of bronze. It can be manipulated like so. Then there, the key to open the way. How do you, how do you make it back to Denderum? I'll be able to make it to one of the trade routes. From there, I'll be fine. If you find the urn, you will return to Denderum to tell me about it, won't you? He would not pass it. up on this. Make he gave up far too easily. You, I thought he was going to argue. Oh wait! You stood up. You're... <laughs> Apparently you could feel your, your foot that time. Okay. Where am, I, am I going this way? I think. Done. You used else? a key. Oh, I kind of remember this from the last time. Make his breath. Look at it all. 